Sorry, trying to do two things at once. <laughs> I'm uh, John Quarterman. I live at 6565 Quarterman Road, Hayhower, Georgia, 31632. It's called Quarterman Road because my grandfather built, uh, bought that property in 1921 and donated the land to the county. The county is Lowndes County. It's the first one you run into going up 75 when you get to Georgia. The county seat you probably heard of is Valdosta, but I've never lived in Valdosta because I like my couple hundred acres of longleaf pine forest with the cypress swamp. The cypress swamp that used to hardly ever run dry, although now it usually is, like when you heard of earlier. And um, in Lowndes County, we already have a lot of people from South Florida. They come down from the north, they move to Florida, they decide they don't like hurricanes or gyp stacks, and they move back up halfway. We call them halfbacks. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know, maybe you don't want halfbacks in Bradford County, but you know, actually a phosphate mine is maybe a little too severe a solution. <laughs> Probably would keep them out, but... Okay, I'm here today because also on my property I have a little pond on a creek that runs into the Withacoochee River, which runs into the Samani River. And I'm here today as the Samani River Keeper because I was asked by people in your community to come and speak to you. Now, I'm not a subject matter expert, and many of you have already covered many of my main points. I, I hope you all got the letter I sent you yesterday. If not, I have paper copies if you'd like to see them. Okay, I'm assuming you're nodding so you all got them. For example, the part about no matter who you hire as a consultant, there's lots of knowledgeable parties ready to help you. Um, Mr. Doherty made that point, and I think Andy Maley just made it very strongly. But I can add a few things that I don't think anybody else has said. Um, in the letter, I provided some information about the uh, Sable Trail pipeline and how nobody seems to be in charge of safety. None of the agencies that permitted it. And yesterday, I got another response from Sable Trail that spelled out they are not required to report these problems they've been having twice for two days running at least that they have leaks of hazardous mercaptan, that's the stuff that makes the stink in the natural gas, twice they've had this happen, and they spelled out in their most recent response, they're not required to report that to anyone. And of the agencies that permitted this thing or are supposed to be in charge of safety, uh, Florida Department of Environmental Protection and, uh, uh, said they weren't notified. Uh, Swanee River Water Management District, uh, like FDEP, has done nothing. The Corps of Engineers didn't even respond. And who's left holding the bag? Marion County Fire Rescue, who has repeatedly spent tax money sending vehicles out there. That's what you got to look forward to. And please look higher than just what this particular thing might bring. There's other ways to bring jobs like solar power, which the people of Florida voted for twice last year. Thank you.